Oh, heck me in one word. Heck me in one word, vibrant. Cool. It's a fun place to be at. Well, I can't exactly explain in one word, but. Unique. Uh, it's diverse. It's like the London, New York or something. Uh, Hackney seems like it's become uh, very trendy over the years. Cool! The New York for London. It's like really busy all the time. Yeah, it's alright, it's not bad, it's not bad, it could be better. Amazing! Can't really say one word, but better would be the one word I'd use. It's much, much better, so big up Hackney. You can see just by looking around the, the changes, the, the, the stark contrast between the old buildings and the new buildings. and. Uh, Personally, I'm not sure whether that's good or not. Hackney has been going through a lot of change. I'll be looking at the effects that it's had on myself and people in my local community. Hackney in the last few years has changed quite rapidly due to various reasons, such as it being close to the city, being an Olympic borough and changing population. Speaking to somebody like Corrie from the council was beneficial for my research. Basically, I'm like a conduit between businesses, residents and the council. And I help to support businesses who want to move into the area, as well as businesses who already exist in the area. Um, I also work on sort of public realm improvements, also work with developers to help with the consultation process and also to help to shape the, the actual development as well. Since he grew up in Hackney, it made it even better because I needed to be in touch with someone who was more or less at the heart of the change. I guess over the last few years, Dalston's experienced a lot of regeneration and it's, it's clear for everybody to see. There's a lot of intensification, additional people moving into the area and new developments coming forward. So I've seen a lot of development-led changes, but I've also seen a lot of social changes. There's a change in the demographic and there's, I guess, a change in a lot of the sort of I guess uh, social sort of amenities as well. So we're sitting in the Eastern Curve Garden. This is a result of the Making Space in Dawson project, which was a Hackney Council GLA sort of project working with the local community. And we also got Dawson Square and Gillette Square, which we often put on events for the local community as well. So I've seen loads of like changes in terms of the physical environment as well as the kind of social environment. But I think it's all centered around the community, really. Corey pointed out a lot of the benefits and changes that had been made. We're kind of at the beginning of a journey really in the sense of the regeneration and in terms of you know where I see Dalston there's going to be a lot more housing in and around Dalston which is vitally important with it you know there's a shortage of housing but also there's going to be a lot of kind of B1 so office space and other you know types of spaces suitable for, for the businesses that want to move into the area which can only I say think bring a lot of opportunity for a lot of the young people. There's a a large creative and cultural community here that maybe weren't here before and as a result of that I think that's brought in a lot of different businesses etc. Dalston and Hackney has always been a really diverse sort of area and it continues to be a diverse area and when we talk about community we're not just talking about you know sort of racial profiles we're talking about the different types of sectors and the different types of people that are living here now as well so so yeah there's it's definitely a change. All of our developments have an, an element of social or affordable housing within them and there's one block within that development that is registered social landlord and that's got a lot of affordable housing within the development. One of the things to say is that there are also commercial units and we often kind of uh, market them to local people as well. So one of the examples is the, the cafe that's open there now, Cafe Root is operated by a group of young people who live in Hackney, who was brought up in Hackney, and they've kind of seized the opportunity. They've seen the different people coming into the area and, and they've kind of exploited that in a sense by taking the opportunity and, and, and running with it. You know, not having to lose its character and the, you know, the indigenous people of Dalston to make way for new people. I think it's really important that we keep that mix because that's what's really encouraging people to move into the area. And it'd be a shame if we, we kind of, the balance was out of kilter and we lost people as a result of it. So that's, that's my personal view. It was, however, hard to predict how he felt. There is only a certain amount that a council member can say in terms of how they feel, which I knew going into the interview. It was good to get a local opinion, especially from somebody who naturally noticed the changes. 
what I'm saying is that behind me, that building at the back, used to be Barclays Bank. And it was Barclays Bank for a very long time. After Barclays Bank, it was a housing association. Then this building on the right here used to be something else. And across the road, it was some. So the changes have been quite significant because um, in my lifetime, it has changed. I was extremely lucky. I am the child of immigrants, African immigrants, and education was a focus. And so there was no opportunity to misbehave. There was no opportunity to not do well in school. It just wasn't an option. Education was my level out of poverty, for, in, in, in other words. And so I have achieved what I have achieved simply by education. However, for some other people who have not been able to be successful, the changes are difficult because my, mom, my mother's property is worth an arm and a leg. And if you're not uh, Caucasian, African, or with extensive access to credit, you're unable to buy property in this area. And it's, it's extremely, extremely, extremely difficult. So it's changed. It's changed for the better, but it has made it expensive for many, many people. And if it's expensive, what happens to them? Where do they go? It was nice to visit the local business. It is somewhere that has been around for a few years, but I have never really noticed. In Dalston, we have no public green space. There's lots of back gardens and green space there, but nowhere where it's, there's planting trees and that for people to come and visit. So the main purpose of the garden is to be that green space, like a small park, somewhere for people to come and relax and enjoy and get away from the busy, noisy streets outside. I mean, I've lived in Dalston over 25 years and we've been saying that we needed green space in Dalston for as long as I can remember. So when the, when the idea of the opening this, this area up as some public space was talked about, we, everybody, I think, was very enthusiastic about it. I found it was a nice space, but not somewhere I would personally go because it is not my type of place to relax. However, I feel it is a diverse and accessible place for people to go. Well, over the recent years, things have really started to change quite a lot. I mean, there's been so much new development, building work been going on around here, particularly since the new station opened at Dawson Junction. So there's been a big influx of people obviously which is them brought with them new cafes and restaurants and things like that which so that's been changing uh, but that's really quite recently but it's been a slow I mean a slow slow change and then suddenly speeded up in the last few years has always got changing populations there's always people moving in and moving out and in a way it's those changes that stayed the same Dawson has had a great character and there is a danger that that could be lost in some of the change. People who have been here for years are often forced to move out because of rising prices, which then changes the nature of the area. And we could lose what sort of makes Dawson special by not having that, that sort of raw spectrum of people that were here. And that's always, that was what attracted us to Dawson in the first place, was the variety of people and the sort of, and just how everybody seemed to kind of move along together without it, you know, didn't, there didn't seem to be huge problems, but I sort of feel that what, what might happen now is a lot of the people who were really happy living here are being forced to move out because they just can't afford it anymore. It's good to see that some shops have remained the same with all the changes around. I like the familiarity of knowing where to buy things from and building a relationship with my local shopkeepers. Uh, yes, a lot of the new building is built up. I think the people, especially the few people, I think the change is quite a lot. quite more white people get in here to stay here. And I think it's overseas. I don't know, the people come from overseas in the new building. As we work here, we see different 
general customer, I think that people is good. I think the class is a bit higher than before. I think because when the area is developed, as uh, you know, developing, it's quite more building everything. I think that that's the first, the first row of course, the, the the rent is get increased. Because you can see that everywhere the rent is quite high, and you know the house is the sale is quite, you know, the rate is quite fast. The rent is increased, the, uh, and the business rate is increased. Yeah, it's it's quite hard for, for us. The lady in the noodle bar opened my eyes towards the struggle in Hackney, not being just about keeping homes, but also about the fight for keeping business. They have had to fight to keep place of where they are and continue business. And because of this, they've adapted to the new Hackney trend of people. As part of my research, I ended up visiting the hub, my new local youth centre. This is one of the local changes near me made for young people. This is a place where I felt comfortable relaxing. Since it's been rebuilt, the type of people going there however have changed. I found out even though it is bigger and better, the older group of the youth in the area don't like it. After talking to one of the workers, I later found out that they didn't agree with the new and improved space. They were more familiar with how it used to look and be. My personal opinion on Hackney's changes is that they are good. I like the look of the new buildings and new facilities and I think that it gives Hackney more colour and there is nothing wrong with that. The problem I see is forcing people out. Although this may not be done physically, it is turning into a place where there's a decreasing amount of shops catering to the residents who have always been here and now can't afford to purchase their goods. Instead, people tend to cater for the new trend of people coming into the area with many more bars, cafes and highly priced organic based products which local residents can't afford. It isn't right that the new houses are being made and such a small percentage of it is being given to residents who were originally there even though it was their homes that were knocked down to make way for new ones. If you believe there is no place like home, then you should believe in having the choice without the pressure of change. I see Hackney as home. <laughs>